guys, Jessica here with Home Sweet Farmhouse. In today's video, I've got a huge haul for you guys. I was actually vlogging today. We went to Home Goods and TJ Maxx, and when I got home, I had a lot <laughs> of stuff at the door from Amazon, which I wasn't quite expecting. I mean, I was expecting, but I don't even know what's in it. Like, I know what I ordered, but We'll see, it's a surprise <laughs> as to what I'm gonna be opening on camera today. So let's get right into this huge haul. I wasn't planning on making it a haul, but with everything that I picked up today and that arrived today, I wanted to turn it into a haul for you guys. Make sure if at any point during this video you like the content that you do give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel and the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you're not subscribed, look down there at that subscribe button if it's red, Go ahead and click it and turn it gray when that happens. A bell will appear, click the bell, select all notifications, that way YouTube can notify you every time I upload a new video. So let's dive in and I think I want to start with Amazon because it's a surprise to me as to what's gonna be in this big box. I, I know what I have ordered, but I didn't look at my emails yet to see what got delivered. So let's start. I have a few other Amazon packages too, but I also have this big box that's not heavy, really, but let's see. Let's see what's in it. Maybe. This tape isn't very sticky, so it's like really funky to get open. Y'all know what I mean. Y'all order from Amazon. You know what I mean. Okay, here we go. not necessarily exciting. I promise I got a lot of other stuff today. So let's see, there was one other thing in here. This is exciting because I was up late the other night. I couldn't sleep. So of course I was ordering on Amazon. You guys, what? So I got this really soft, the lightweight, it's a really lightweight, um, Sanderson Witch Museum, home of the Black Flame Candle, established 1963. And you know what, guys? I have been looking at a lot of Sanderson sister stuff. Um, I say a lot, but some Sanderson sister stuff. And what's really interesting is that the Disney, like actual Disney stuff, which this is not um, actual Disney, but the actual Disney stuff says 63. And some of the knockoff stuff says 62, so you've gotta be careful. If you are buying something knockoff, this says 63, um, which is in line with Disney. Interesting, right? I love this. It's going in the laundry so I can wear it. Now, I think I know what's in this bag, and it's not super exciting, but quercetin, there you go. My quercetin came in. And this one, Hannah, if you're watching, stop watching because this one might be mine and it might be yours. So maybe I can get it to you before this video goes up. This is definitely something I bought my sister, so. Um, wait till the end of this video and I'll show you this. That way, Hannah, you can turn it off. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'll show you at the end. Um, let's do home goods first because I went to Home Goods first and I was really expecting a lot more at Home Goods. Like Home Goods was stocked, which is good because a lot of the stores I've been going into have just been like empty shelves everywhere. Home Goods was stocked, but I did not find a lot of what I was looking for and hoping to find there. And the reason I say that is because I don't, Home Goods is like 20, depending on traffic, about 20, 25 minutes away from me. And so it's not in the 
group of shops that I would tend to go to just on an everyday run if I was going shopping. I have to really plan like, okay, I want to go to Home Goods today. I need to plan to go further away to get to Home Goods. So that's why I was a little disappointed. This, we have been looking for a tea kettle since we moved. Um, yeah, I don't know if this is going to make the cut. For me, it was, it's still a little eh, I don't know. So my husband is gonna be the decider on this, uh, but I did grab this tea kettle at Home Goods, and, and you can see it has the like speckle on it, so it's not gonna show dirt. It's also, while we let, really like the look of a stainless one, they show everything, and you have to clean them constantly. So, let's see here. Oh. I'll show you the price. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. There we go. So my husband's going to be the decider on this one as to if we keep it or not. And I got one more thing for him, so cross your fingers that he likes it. Um, everything else, yeah. Oh, I got this little, it's a soap dish, but I got it right here so I'm gonna put our soap right here at the sink on it as well as our um, little stainless steel bar of soap which is what you use to um, if you have like if you're cutting onion or garlic or whatever get the smell off of your hands you use stainless for that so that's for here yes and it fits awesome so okay I think this is what I got for my Let's check it out. Yes, it is. So it is a glass salad dressing uh, bottle, and it actually has some recipes on it, though I don't think he would use these recipes. He loves, he makes his own salad dressing all the time. Um, I do too, but I tend to just make ranch from the Hidden Valley packets. Um, that's my favorite. So really really cute let me show you and it is glass so we try not to buy a lot of plastics or bring new plastics into the house so that it, the fact that it's glass is really good it does have a plastic top but i don't really know how you get around that here's the you can see the top it has a nice big pour spout when you open it so it says healthy dressings on it let's see if you can see that and it does have a bunch of let's see honey mustard sesame scallion creamy citrus ginger, French vinaigrette, Italian herb, creamy Caesar. So those are the um, recipes that it has on it. And look, I mean, what, let's see if I can get it to focus here. There we go. What a steal. Okay, so I did get this for my husband and hopefully he will like it. Um, I'm gonna set it aside and not wash it yet just in case he doesn't. I'll set that right there. And then I've got two more pieces from Home Goods, and then we'll move on to TJ Maxx. And don't forget, I've got one more item to show you from Amazon, but I'm not going to show you until the end of the video um, so that I give my sister time to dip out <laughs> from watching the video. So I was looking for these um, clamp mason jars. For a few different reasons, and at Home Goods, they had a, a they had a really good selection of really big ones. I wasn't looking for the really big ones. I did find this one, which I think is going to be really nice for my tea bags, the ones that do not come individually wrapped. Um, so I grabbed this one, and it's also a really good price at only three ninety nine. Um, so it is a what is this? 22 ounce clamp jar and it does have um does say mason on both sides so they're and on the top as well so i was looking for some of these this was the only one i got at home goods again another reason why i was disappointed with home goods but i did at least get this one so the last item is actually i got three of the same thing because um, my dog has been getting a lot of ghost milk lately. 
so we've been using her bowls more than her plates, and she doesn't have very many bowls. So, they have three of this one kind of bowl that I really liked. And, can you see that? There we go. So really nice, simple design. Um, again, they were each just $3.99, a really good price. They are six inch cereal bowls is what they're called. Um, but yeah, again, because we have been feeding Kim a lot of goat's milk lately, um, bowls are just better for the way we're feeding her right now than plates. And we have a lot of plates for her and not very many bowls for her. So grabbed these and they're gonna need to go in the dishwasher. So I'm gonna set those over there. All right, so let me clean this up. We're gonna move on to TJ Maxx. So at TJ Maxx, if you saw my vlog um, last week, then you know, I ran it, like I was in and out of TJ Maxx pretty quickly. I was not looking to stay there very long. I did grab this oversized throw, soft and warm it says. It's a 50 by 70 inch. Uh, I, th this is specifically for my cat Sissy. <laughs> I have four cats and yes, I bought this specifically for one of my cats. Super soft, I like the print. It's like a cheetah print but it's um, in these muted, like gray tone colors. So I like it a lot. I bought her, I bought a piece of furniture that the top of it is, um, it's, it looks like a serving tray on the top. And I intended for that to be her, a bed for her. So I got this to put in the top so that it's nice and soft and comfy and she can knead on it if she wants to. Um, so this needs to go in the wash, of course. So I didn't get that washed for her, but I did buy that specifically for one of my cats. And then, let's see, I think I got three of these as well. That's different, that's something different. I guess not, I guess I only got two of these. I only got three, let me double check. One, two. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess I only got two of these. And this is what I was looking for at Goods that they did not have, one of the things um, that they did not have, and I did find them at TJ Maxx. So I was pretty glad that I made a trip there. So let me unwrap both of them and show you what they are. So I got two, as you can see. They are the 36 ounce preserving jars, they say, uh, mason jars, but they have the clamp lid that I was looking for, so they are airtight. That's what I really wanted. These are for Kim's treats. Um, so we're gonna have one, like, in, I don't, we're gonna have two, like one in the front of the house, one in the back of the house, because we have been working on um, reinforcing a lot of her training since we moved it dogs are very situational um, so if you follow me on my other channel I'm a pet parent coach and positive reinforcement dog trainer um, I definitely recommend you check that out if you haven't already it's the pet parenting reset I also have a podcast called the pet parenting reset you can check it out um, so yeah dogs are very situational so the move really uh, kind of threw her th for a loop and that's not unusual she is in a totally new environment different things happening different things going on um, so we are reinforcing a lot of her training so treat jars around the house are very important and keeping those treats airtight is also really important so I got these two mason jars and an amazing price right $4.99 a piece so I need to get these in the dishwasher so that we can get the treats one in the front of the house one in the back of the house so that's that was exciting that I did find that. Now, I got one other thing. I, I surprised myself that I bought this. In fact, I'm gonna wait. 
and show you that in just a, a minute because I surprised myself that I bought it. It is definitely not something I would normally buy. Um, let me show you these other two things that I got first. So right when I walked in the door, there was a tiny, tiny little display of some Halloween pajamas. And these were in the display and I actually had not seen these anywhere before, though I'm sure they're all over the country. I just hadn't seen them really. They are, I wish you could feel this. I wish you could feel how incredibly soft these are and look how cute they are with the little, and they look like little Westies and they're all dressed up for Halloween. Oh my goodness. And the reason that they just instantly went into my cart is because they have pockets. Yes, they have pockets. And it was secondary that I looked at the price, but a really good price too for a pair of pajama pants. There you go, $9.99. How adorable, these need to go in the wash so I can wear them ASAP. And then I got these. Um, I use a lot of hand towels <laughs> um, with my cats specifically. So this was, this is a four pack. I, I normally only buy two at a time, but this is what it was. I thought this was absolutely adorable. In fact, let me see um, this top part, if I can get. this off here so we can look at the kitty cat on the top. Gracious Jessica. There we go. So even the tag, the tag says eat, drink, and be scary. How adorable. Okay. <gasps> I didn't even know when I bought it. Look at that. It's a bat. No, it's a cat dressed up as a bat. And then this is a cat um, probably dressed up as a skeleton. So cute. And it says, happy meow o <laughs> um, And then down here it says, trick or treat. So you get two like this. And then on the inside you have a white one and a gray one. So, yeah. oh, 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 oh. There's one more. There's one more. You need to see it. You need to see it. I promise you won't be disappointed. Look, 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 look. Dressed up as a mummy. Oh my goodness. How adorable is that? Okay. And then let's see if there are any more. Ah, yeah, there. There's one dressed up as a witch. How cute is she? Okay. So that's one of the hand towels. Or there are two like this in the pack. So those are going in the wash as well. Here we go. Okay. So where are we at? We're almost done. We're almost done. Okay, so this is something I would normally never buy. I don't love candles. Um, I like nice fragrance. I like natural fragrance, not natural fragrance, but like actual natural fragrance. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can definitely check out some of the videos um, on my pet channel because I talk about phthalates and all those terrible, terrible things. Anyway, um, but in addition to that, I don't like the smell of most candles. When I saw this, I, I was smelling a few of the candles at TJ Maxx and this Sand and Paws company, I've seen them before. So um, they are a soy wax blend and they are made with essential oils. Now, are they veterinary grade essential oils? No, but honestly, when you heat up essential oils, it's not, it kind of degrades them anyway, so it's not even like a thing. Um, I mean, it's a thing, but I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, so I feel like this is probably one of the better ones that you could buy. And then I smelled, uh, first off, look at, the, look at the lid of this. It's like a little wiener dog with a witch hat on. So pretty, pretty decent price here. Let me see if it'll focus. There we go. Um, because it is, what is this? A 12 ounce candle. So it's, it's a decent like size candle and it is a white cranberry fragrance. Oh my gosh. Cran cranberry is my fragrance. If I'm going to choose a candle, um, if I'm going to burn a candle, cranberry is 
pretty much the only fragrance that I have ever found that I liked in any candle, um, no matter the brand. Like, cranberry is just it for me. And it's not to say that cranberry is the only scent I like. I don't. I like uh, citrus. I like apple. I like all kinds of scents. Um, but in a candle, it just doesn't come across like the way you would want it to. Anyway, this smells absolutely amazing. So, uh, yeah. Oh, it, so it has a 100% cotton wick, sustainable wood lid, soy wax blend. Um, they're asking you to repurpose it, which why wouldn't I, right? Look at that. Look at that. I mean, even as like a little coaster when you're done with the candle, how adorable. Um, yeah. So something I would almost never buy. All right, Hannah, stop watching the video. We're almost done anyway. So I got this for my sister. I'm going to be sending it to her hopefully this week. Um, so maybe this video, or maybe she'll get this before the video goes up, hopefully. But I got her similar to what I got myself. I just got her a little t-shirt that says Sanderson Witch Museum, home of the Black Flame Can So these are on Amazon. I will link um, everything I got on, well, both of the shirts I got on Amazon, I'll link below um, so you can see them. But I am just, it's, it's, we're there, guys. It's spooky season. It's not spooky season, but according to me, it's spooky season. So let's get there. <laughs> let's get it done. Um, yeah. So. That is today's haul. Thank you so much for hanging with me throughout the haul. I know it started off a little funky, but we got through some really amazing finds, um, both on Amazon and at Home Goods and TJ Maxx. Um, I, I feel like TJ Maxx really outdid it. For, I mean, I still didn't find everything I was looking for. If you didn't watch the vlog last week, definitely check out the vlog. Um, that'll explain. But yeah, I hope you liked the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Um, it really help my channel and the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you are not already subscribed, look down there on that subscribe button. If it's red, go ahead and click it and turn it gray. Um, if you are a pet parent, uh, check out my other channel. You can just simply go to the search bar on YouTube and type in the Pet Parenting Reset. You can also find my podcast on Spotify. Um, and, 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 what was the other thing I was gonna say? Uh, 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 oh, but the link tree in my description is going to get you to all of it. It's going to get you to my other YouTube channel. It's going to get you to my Patreon. It's going to get you to um, my podcast. It's going to get you to, it's going to get you to everything. It's going to get you to my Amazon storefront. So it's going to get you to all the things, all the things. That's what the link tree is all about. So <laughs> thank you so much for hanging in there with me. Can't wait to see you in our next video. Until then, bye.